So I'm back from Roscoe on my shakedown camping trip. Uh, we had a couple things that really didn't like. Um, let's start with uh, the Lightner Designs rack. All right, so the rack was great. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of debris in there. So I picked up a lot of road dirt, as well as there was a lot of water in this um, to the point where things got wet, stuff got mildewy. It's pretty nasty. I had to wash about just about everything that was washable. Um, even including some of my fly boxes that are cloth. So right now, I'm really not digging this uh, box. Uh, that being said, I think what I'm going to have to do is drill holes in it. I really didn't want to, but I think that's the only way to solve any of these problems to getting the water out of it. Alright, so let's go around to the trailer. Alright, so the trailer. Um, there's a couple things that I really am uh, not happy with, this, the design of it. Uh, one being the tongue box is nice, but as you can see, I think you can see, there's water in there. So the weak part of this tongue box is going to be uh, this hinge and the locking mechanism. I really don't need a gas strut in there to hold it up. Um, so that's going to be an issue. We're going to take this off today and uh, see what happens. See if I like it. I might move it forward. I might buy another one. I'm not sure. Then here's the other thing. Well, one of the other things about the trailer. Um, this platform, as good as it is, it's not really good enough for any kind of refrigerator. Maybe the Dometic line that has a top opening one. Um, I built this platform. So there's a six inch, that's a two by six platform on the front of the, uh, on the front of that little deck. And even with it being like that, I still couldn't open my Yeti Tundra 45. Um, the only way I could get it to where I could use the cooler like I wanted to would be I had to put it backwards and um, I had to like shimmy it to this side so if it was backwards here it was still hitting the air conditioning unit on Tiger Moth which really really sucks and since we're at the front of this front of the camper I'll show you some a couple other things that I really don't like so uh, let's see if you can see it okay so you see the stainless steel screw which holds the air conditioning unit bracket in so there's two on the bottom and whoever designed this really did not think about what they were doing because as you could see it is so close very very close um, I don't have a problem modding stuff so it's not really a problem for me but for somebody that is not as handy or lacks tools or now has to go out and buy a $200 Milwaukee grinder that would be with the battery um, it creates a lot of work and especially look this trailer is not cheap I mean at twenty something thousand dollars uh, you would expect for at least uh, for it to be a little more user friendly and that's just simple stuff so you know going forward this platform should definitely be a little wider so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, I had I bought a new refrigerator take the box off I'm gonna see if I can use it forward I'm gonna mount the refrigerator there and uh, we'll go from there see how it works so you guys will see firsthand in a couple minutes all right so that tongue box is just held in place by four 916 uh, heads we're gonna yank them off right now
comments. You guys let me know. Box on or box off. All right. So, as I was saying before about the non-stainless hardware. So, this is uh, Tiger Moth number 223. No, 224, excuse me. So, non-stainless hardware. Anything I use that's going to be su subjected to the elements, I always use stainless hardware. Now, let me show you why I do. So, I'm going to do a quick... Here we come. So, this is Tiger Moth number 224. Um... You can see we're already rotten. Uh, this is not good at all. Uh, I'm very, I really didn't want to open this and see this. I mean, to the point, yeah, it's most of it's rubbing off, but like you can see, it's pitting already. And this this tiger moth is only a couple months old. I mean, even past me owning it, um, it actually looks a little rough. Like maybe they bounced the drill bit off there. So I'm not really looking forward to having to repaint the frame after it. this thing is brand spanking new. I shouldn't have to get my fingers wet making a video about this. Um, it, they didn't even paint inside those. So before I make my next step, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to have to spray paint the front of this trailer. Um, so for the end of this video, I am going to show you the, ref the refrigerator I bought. I'm going to put it on here so you can see it, and uh, I'll make a decision if I'm going to put a box back on this or not. But right now, I'm not happy seeing, uh, I mean, look at this. So they didn't even take the time to mark it right. They just dropped a dropped two holes in there. I don't even know why you dropped two holes in there unless you missed. Uh, not what I wanted to see today. So, all right, I'm going to get the refrigerator and show it that I bought just to, so you can see. So, this is a 63 quart cooler, I believe. Without going crazy looking at it, um, the one thing I will have to do is I'm going to have to I'm going to put uh I don't know. I'm either going to put a piece of wood there to just bring it out and then mount the tongue box. Or I might just keep that tongue box off and uh, run with the refrigerator. The only thing is I do like the idea of the tongue box because it would protect this from, let's say, a rock kicking up. Because uh, I really don't want to blow a hole through that and wreck the insides of this. But as you can see, this thing is absolutely perfect. It's not on. Um, gas spring works with the air conditioner in place unlike the yeti or any other flip up cooler um absolutely perfect i did buy the strap securing kit so i don't have to really worry about it um and it should provide uh many years of cold beverages because i really don't want to have to deal with ice after especially once you have a uh, electric fridge, 12 volt fridge for any of you know whatever you do, whether it be a little camper like this, or in the back of a Jeep, or in the back of a, your tow rig. Um, there's nothing like it. You don't have to deal with ice. You don't have to worry about gas stations. You don't have to worry about uh, your half and half for your coffee going bad, or your eggs, or whatever you want to put in there: chicken, venison, steak, bacon. Bacon should be the end of the conversation right there. Um, that's pretty much it. So as this evolves, I'll, uh, I will put a video up for you. And for those that were asking, there is my ARB shower enclosure. Uh, before the credits roll, this is with the tongue box back on. I don't know, I haven't decided. It doesn't line up 100%, but it does protect it if I kick a rock up, which that does a lot. Um, I give you an inch clearance on the front. That would be about an inch clearance on the back. I, I kind of like it. 
I don't know, see if I could buy another tongue box. I'm gonna do that, I think. But for now, this one works, but I just don't wanna keep blowing holes through this frame either. All right, just wanted to show you guys.